Can we break a world record at St Pancras for one minute hugging? Let's get a couple, come in here and let's have a hug. It's a great start to Guinness World Records Day 2009. Um, the, the aim was to get 50 couples hugging in here at St Pancras International train station for one minute. Um, we set the 50 minimum just because we don't want to make it too easy to get a record. And we just met with 56 couples, so a few. Um, it's just great and heartwarming to think that people are going to take time out of the day to think about record breaking. And um, So this is just the first of many events uh, all around the world. So it's good to kick off the day with a successful attempt. Well, it's just great that everyone's got involved and um, you know making an effort to make the record. It's good. I wish my fiance was here, but she's in bed. It's a bit cold here, but um, it's quite romantic. Yeah, it's good. What's great about Guinness World Records Day is that you can celebrate your own culture by breaking a record that's got something to do with your own uh, neighbourhood. So, for example, in Finland, we've got the most nationalities in the sauna. Um, in Italy, we've got pizza dough tossing and pasta eating. In the USA we have cheerleaders and lasseurs. Um, I think the Norwegians are making gingerbread cake, the largest gingerbread man. So every country has something that's related. French normally do kissing, the Germans normally do big sausages. There's something for everyone. So, um, we, we like celebrating the differences um, culturally, but also to celebrate what brings us all together, which is the fact that we all want to be Guinness World Record holders. <laughs> it would have been really nice if we if we got the Guinness World Record today, but we were pretty close. Um, I think next year, um, definitely, hopefully we'll get it again. It's good to see a lot of other countries pushing to have the Guinness World Record also. It's kind of like this healthy competitive spirit between the whole world. Guinness World Records are most important than having an OBE from the Queen. <laughs> There's something about the Guinness World Records that just people just need to see their name in the book. They want, they want to have that fame and um, and today's the best chance you've got of getting in the book. So this year we've got at least a quarter of a million people uh, doing something for the day, which is great. And as well as raising awareness for record holding generally and, and enjoying it, it's raising hopefully millions of pounds of dollars for charities uh, all around the world. So it's, it's not just a bit of fun, it's actually for serious causes. So anyone can take part, it's free, tell us your record attempt and you can do it for Guinness World Records Day and get your name in the biggest selling book of all time.